Let's, right let's, uh, let's get it over. Okay, let's, let's not talk now. about the second okay. round. Let's Why? talk about the round number three and four. Yeah. I mean, what's going to be? So, uh, 15 and one? what happened? 16 and one before you know, big drama show. It was. Uh, G has less fights to You know, Gennady wants to give people their money's worth, and and uh, Willie honest. came in shape. You, I mean, you saw at the know, open workout. You saw at the weigh-in. He was in tremendous condition, and the way he was able to take Gennady's punches and survive, basically for for six rounds, it was a uh, tremendous. Uh, it was a testament to his. Uh, his uh, his will to compete, and he kept getting up. And Gennady was slowly, after the second round, slowly chipping away. And then he just uh, it was too much for uh, for him after that. But there is no problem with, with getting hit because when you have an offensive style like Gennady has, you get hit. I mean, this is normal. But what did you see in the second round? Let's go back this time. Well, Gennady sets a lot of traps, and he's one of the best at cutting off the ring. Uh, Monroe was a very defensive fighter. Um, that's why Gennady had chosen him because he knew it would be a difficult style for him. He knew he wasn't going to stand in front of him. If someone stands in front of Gennady, it's not going to go more than two or three rounds. And uh, and Monroe, you got to give Willie a lot of credit with, with uh, his speed, you know, his his ability uh, to survive and to box. And he was able to, to keep Gennady off him for the third and, and fourth round. Until uh, Gennady caught up to him again in, in uh, the fifth, and then basically broke him down in, 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 the, in the sixth. I'm going to go to the. Also, what happened was Gennady right thought that they could end the second round. I think Tusco's fight two weeks ago. I was in the garden for that one. It could have been, yeah. I think Gennady had him hurt really badly. Yeah, I was in the garden for that one. It could have been, yeah. I think Gennady had him hurt really badly in the second round. The referee could have easily stopped it. The way the way Monroe went down and, and he was on shaky legs. Gennady, if he really wanted to jump on him, probably could have. But you can't take anything away from from Willie. You know. He had the will to survive, and he and he definitely survived another, you know, another three rounds. I think that was something maybe that he decided to do just to entice. I think, yeah, I think Gennady likes to give the fans a show, you know, both on uh, on TV, on HBO, and and live in the arena. When people come to see him fight, he wants to give them a show, and and I think he is such a calculated fighter, and at such a high level that he could stretch it out a little bit longer if he wanted to. Now, you can't. Uh, we'd like to plan the next fight in September, absolutely. Now, Cotto Canelo, are you kind of expecting that to happen? So you guys have to make arrangements with WBC? Uh, it looks like that's the direction that they want to go into. I mean, Cotto has a tough fight in, in June. And, um, you know, we're going to keep doing the same formula. We can't wait on fighters. You know, if we waited on Chavez, Gennady still would be waiting. And that fight wouldn't happen. So he's, we're, it's my job to put the best fights together. If we can get Cotto in the ring, which, which uh, Gennady is the mandatory for, that's a great fight. Canelo. You know, it looks like uh, they want to build that fight, which is great. You know, it could be uh, next year. You can't force someone to fight right now. So we're going to keep doing what we're doing. You see how the crowd reacts. The crowd reacts because they like Gennady's style. They like the fact that he's fan friendly. They like the fact that he fights often. And he's a people champion. And the people come out to see Gennady regardless of who he would fights. Would you come back to L.A.? Oh, absolutely. Uh, L.A. is great. We'd like to explore Texas. We'd like to explore Las Vegas. I'd like to go back internationally again. So it just really depends on the opponent, really depends on the location and the date, but September is a target date. So with Andre Ward, would that be probably the least favorable fight? Because Andre Ward, it's not exactly a plan, fan pleasing style. 